Okay, so if you want to hook up the ECG simulator to an O-scope, here's what you have to do. You want to find the middle screw terminal here. In this case, it's my green wire. And you're going to connect that to the ground, the ground alligator clip of your O-scope. Right, so the alligator clip on your O-scope probe is going to go to the middle terminal. In this case, what's labeled screw terminal 2 on this particular version of the ECG simulator. So once you've grounded your O-scope probe on channel one, I right, got channel one right here, channel one settings, you can see I'm at a hundred millivolt per division and um, 200 millisecond interval, time interval. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your board and you're gonna take the probe of your O-scope and connect it to TP1 on the ECG simulator. And you can see your ECG waveform show up right there. Uh, depending on your probe settings and um, compensation, any attenuation you have on your probe, you may get a slightly different signal. But that's uh, what you're viewing right there is the output of your ECG simulator. Go ahead and change some of the settings right there. So you can see my LED light has picked up it's a little faster now. So we should see those ECG waveforms more frequently. Go ahead and change my, my settings again. Takes a second for the scope to update. Now you can see a different ECG waveform. And obviously you can keep playing around with the different settings. Make sure you measure your probe to TP1. That's gonna be the easiest way to measure the output of your ECG simulator.